Volodymyr is one of the students of the inclusive workshop in the city of Odessa. 20-year-old man has autism. His parents regularly bring him to classes. He is now studying ceramics. Volodymyr says working with clay is easy for him. It is not difficult. If you can, you will succeed. If you want, then everything will work out. In cartoons, in animation, in fairy tales, in illustrations, in painting everywhere. I like art. I like to draw. Work is in full swing in the classroom, eight students learn modeling under the supervision of teachers. And then you turn it over. Gradually shapeless pieces of clay take on contours. Those will be the cutting boards. For example, it will take a student only one lesson to make such a plate with a cat. After sculpting, the dishes will be put in the oven and then painted with enamel. This plate is planned to be put up for sale. Teachers say that this is a good motivation for students to not only master crafts, but also earn their own money. Also, children and adults are taught sewing and, most importantly, communication with peers. Since most of them, due to diagnosis, are deprived of such an opportunity, that the rules of communication are presented to them in the form of a game. Anna Buhayova, co-founder of the Inclusive Workshop, calls it an open space where teachers are engaged in crafts and creativity with both children and adults with autistic disorders and cerebral palsy. Here, the main task is not just to teach something, but to reveal the desire to trust and communicate. Even those who do not communicate start doing it. Let's say we have one student who has been attending classes for two years. Recently she has finally begun to talk about some desires and films. Their social circle is so limited and they really need some additional conditions that are provided in the workshops, because frankly speaking, they live in isolation. In total, over the time of the Odessa Inclusive Workshops work, 45 children and more than two dozen adults were trained here, reported by Nick Starkov and Bogdan Sevko, UATV News.